We have choices because we live in a democracy. Due to a variety of variables, our options are limited. Moreover, when we reach age of 18, we all gain the right to vote. When a voter is well informed, he or she is more motivated to vote. It doesn't take much time to become educated and aware about candidates and matters if you know where and how to search. All information exists online. All you will do is make sure you're also on right track. You are not buying a phone without knowing its specs. You want to check its specification and it's just the same with voting a candidate. 5 tips of being an active informed voter. Number 1 is learn. Learn well about politicians, the offices where that they are running, and any other important matters in the race. Consider and evaluate the information. We all have enough data to make an informed decision. If you don't have, look up for more information. Would this be useful to you? Is that from a reliable and trustworthy source? Is it consistent with other information you have? What effect does it have on you? What is the candidate's motivation for running for political office? What information do I require to determine whether he or she seems right for the role? Will you be the great representative for the position? If, during, the, during an election, pay more attention to the particular politicians' their thoughts and solutions rather than just the party lines. If they have enough information or certain contenders, one place to start is by, by a topic you're concerned about education, environment, jobs, health care, etc. Afterwards, start by looking up information about candidates, considering their standpoints on that one matter. 3. Decide. Pick a candidate or a position on a topic. Examine the information you've gathered on the candidates. Rate the following items based on the information you have. Candidates and make an informed selection based on that knowledge. Take into account that the candidate's background, positions, characteristics, and any other relevant information, did they share ideas and solutions, or did they keep them to themselves? Is it that largely people will complain? Choose the candidate you believe will perform the best. 4. Take action today. Citizens and leaders who are active do more than merely read and think about facts. They apply this knowledge. One voting is a vital way for citizens to engage in democracy and local community members should vote. It is essential to vote in order to get your voice heard. Outside of voting, you can also make your voice heard, share your community solutions and thoughts. Stay involved. Continue to pay attention and participate. Are you done voting once you've cast your ballot? Of course no. Look for the official election results after the election. Do you keep track of the victorious candidates? Abide by their election promises? Do they make wise choices? Stay informed by watching or attending political meetings, following the news about political debates and interviews. Sino-sino ba ang kailangan nating iboto? President, Vice President, Senators, District Representative, Party List Representative, Governors, Vice Governors, Provincial Board Member, City Municipal Mayors, City Vice Municipal Vice Mayors, City Municipal Councilor. Paraan para hindi masayang ang boto sa araw ng eleksyon. Una, magdala na ng valid ID. Pangalawa, alamin ang precinct number kung saan ka boboto. Pwede kang tumawag sa Comelec sa 525-9296 or mag-text sa 0918-566-8301. Pwede mo din bisitahin ang Comelec website or social media kagaya ng Facebook or Twitter. Pangatlo, bumoto ng maaga. Pang-apat, magdala na ng inumin at merienda dahil mahaba-haba ang pipilahin mo. Pang-lima, magdala na ng lista ng ibuboto para mapabilis ang iyong pagboto at hindi mo makalimutan ang mga pangalan. Pang-anim, siguraduhin na ang bilog ay nakukulay ng buo. Pang-pito, huwag sobra ang ibuboto. Mas maigi na ang kulang kaysa sumobra. Pang-walo, inspeksyonin ang makina kung ang boto mo ay nakarehistro ng tama. Ang siyam, ipagbunyi ang iyong pagtagumpay na boto. Ano nga ba ang importante sa iyo? Edukasyon? Pamilya? 
kalusugan, o trabaho. Ito ay maapektuhan gamit ang simpleng pagboto. Bakit kami boboto? Ang pagboto ay hindi lang pagpili ng isang kandidato. Ito ay patungkol sa ating nakaraan ngayon at ang kinabukasan. Bumuboto kami para protektahan ang komunidad at hindi lang puro hashtag dahil sa ating kapaligiran na nanggihinalo at dapat protektahan. Bumuboto kami para sa mga batang gustong mag-aral sa libreng paaralan. Bumuboto kami para sa mga may malubhang sakit na maagapan ng libreng pangkalusugan. Bumuboto kami para sa mga walang trabaho na sana ay makahanap na ng pangkabuhayan. Bumuboto kami para sa mga OFW na hindi na darating ang araw na kailangan nilang mga ibang bansa at magsakripisyong mawalay sa pamilya. Bumuboto kami hindi lang para sa aming sarili, kung hindi para sa lahat ng mamamamayan na makikinapang. Naaakayin kami ng susunod na tagapagtaguyod ng bansa at iaahon tayo sa kahirapan. Ang pagboto ay hindi lang isang karapatan kung hindi moral na obligasyon mo para sa bayan. Sa darating na ikalsyam ng Mayo, huwag kalimutang bumoto. Ikaw ang magiging dahilan ng pagbabago.